Good morning students. Let's continue with the Merchant of Venice workbook. I'm sure you all have your workbook and I hope you are writing the question and answers in your workbook itself. Now please understand you don't have to copy any extract from the workbook in your notebooks or in your English literature registers. Just do the work that was given to you from all the stories and the poems. Please do not copy any extract from the Merchant of Venice workbook in your registers. We'll be completing the workbook. That's it, right? So you will have uh, your answers in the workbook that you can always learn from. Open page 290. We will start with the extract number 85. I suppose we have to start from 85. Okay, let's continue. This is the speech of Shylock where he says, so now, so can I give no reason nor I will not more than a lodged hate and a certain loathing I bear Antonio that I follow thus a losing suit against him. Are you answered? Now this is the place where Shylock was talking to the Duke. You remember I'm sure that Shylock was talking to the Duke at 4 scene 1. Let's see the page number. It is page number 116 of your book. If you have it, that's much better. You can understand it more easily. Now see, understand here. Question number one says, what is Shiloh trying to give a reason for? To whom is he speaking and when? So Shiloh, what is Shiloh trying to give reason for? Here in this speech, I hope you remember, Shylock is talking about the reason that he hates Antonio. Now, you wanted to know what is the reason that Shylock was actually hating Antonio or what is the reason behind this act of cruelty that Shylock was showing against Antonio. Now, here Shylock, uh, he has given a long speech about whatever he plans or he says, but he has not yet given any fixed reason of his hatred. But he did mention in his speech that yes, of course, he hates Antonio. Okay. To whom is he speaking and when? He is actually speaking to the Duke when he is standing in the court. It's a trial scene. They all are present in the court of Venice. And that is where Shylock is actually speaking these lines. See the next question. Already. Before this extract, in the same speech, Shylock has given an imperfect reason for his behavior. State what reason he has outlined. Now just before that, before this, or uh, I should say in the same extract, Shylock gives an imperfect reason. Now reason he says is that there is no fixed reason. Some people they hate the Catholic faith. Some people, they hate the sight of a cat and some people, they even hate the sound of a bagpiper. In the same way, I have no fixed reason that I could render, but I do hate Antonio. Right? Okay, uh, what reason he has outlined? According to him, see, what he feels is, Feelings that control our emotions are moody and move according to what they like or dislike. So he says, you know, it's all because of the feelings that I have against a person. They could, so it could be that I like a person, it could be that I hate a person. Right? So there's no fixed reason. Now, after that, see the next question, Supat. Define what he means by lost hate. And certain and, and a certain loathing. Okay, now you have to understand, see, a lost hate and certain hating. See, he has already given it here. It's a deep-rooted hatred that he has developed over a long period of time. Now, Shiloh, he wanted to tell the Duke that there's no fixed reason. There's, uh, like, he just cannot give one reason why he hates Antonio. But there are various reasons because of his hatred. He tells the Duke that, you know, he hates Antonio and it is a deep-rooted hatred that 
you know, uh, he this hatred, he has been carrying it in his heart for a very long time. So there's no face reason. But of course, this hatred is deeply rooted. It cannot be removed from his heart. See the second part of the same question. Contrast this with the actual reason Shylock ha has for hating Antonio. Now here, he shows that he hates him because of his feelings, right, or emotions. But actually, he hates him because of the way Antonio has treated him. And because of the reason that his own daughter, she fled away with a Christian. So he hates Shai Antonio uh, for different reasons, for being a different, a person of a different religion. Religious different, the way Antonio treated him and the way his own daughter fled away with a Christian. So there are various reasons why he hates Antonio, right? Mention the two warnings given by Shiloh before the trial can begin against his being denied his rights under the law. Okay, now before that, you know, when Shylock was, uh, Shylock tells the people of the court that if you deny the law, then let what will happen, it is given here. If you deny, page number 116, line number 37. 38. If you deny it, let the danger light upon your charter and your city's freedom. So he says here, if you deny me this court, then of course I will make sure that your city's freedom or your charter is in danger. Right? Charter is the document by which Venice gives, was given independence. That is it. That is the answer that you can write. Let's move to the next extract, Antonio's, page number 291, 86. I'm sure you all are on the same page. Turn the page, question number A. When and where does Antonio make this speech? What has he just heard the Jews say? Now, uh, here in this, we're talking about speech of Antonio where they were in the court and Antonio tells Bassanio, he didn't want Bassanio to argue with Shylock. So this is that speech. Antonio makes this speech in the court of Venice where a Jew is standing determined to seek justice. He's obdurate, he's determined, he really wants justice. 